The National Aeronautics and Space Administration, or commonly known as NASA, has been making a difference in our society since 1958. The creation of NASA was directly related to the need for national defense during the Cold War. From then on, space exploration was a huge area of contest between the Soviet Union and the United States. This era of discovery was known as the space race. To go to the moon in this decade and do the other thing. Not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Because that goal will serve to organize and measure the best of our energies and skills. Because that challenge is one that we're willing to accept. That's one small step for man, but giant leap for mankind. NASA has used and created complicated and elaborate technologies that have helped gather information about our solar system and have sent astronauts to the moon, which is about 238,855 miles away. Surprisingly, these same technologies that are used so far away have been simplified and incorporated in our society on Earth. A product as simple as a straightening iron uses technology from NASA. The technology used by NASA that has been incorporated into the straightening irons we use every day are called nanoceramic materials, which are 10,000 times smaller than a strand of human hair. These nanomaterials were created to help scientists make microcapsules on Earth rather than in space. Microcapsules are tiny balloons the size of blood cells that are sent into a solid tumor in the human body filled with cancer-fighting drugs. Dr. Dennis Morrison has spent the last 34 years working at NASA on a nanomaterial research. He created a special type of nanomaterial that is made up of metal oxides. This special type of nanomaterial was put into the surface of microcapsules. It creates positive and negative ions that heat to a predictable temperature, making the release of drugs in the microcapsules controllable. Dr. Dennis Morrison met with Fruk Shami in Texas at a nanotechnology conference in 2001. Shami is the founder and chairman of Fruk Systems Incorporated, a company that creates professional hair care and styling products. Shami met with Dr. Morrison to discuss the latest ceramic applications at NASA. He wanted to combine NASA's discoveries in special metal composites with his company's ceramic material coatings on hair styling tools. After learning about the metal oxides and metallic composites, Shami created a new composite with the metal composites Morrison created and incorporated them in his cationic hydration interlink, also known as Qi hair styling irons, a special branch of Fruit Systems Incorporated. The ceramic composite helped to smooth and soften hair when using the irons. The hair is easier to manage and style. The beauty industry is an $160 billion industry worldwide. As a part of this industry, Farouk Shami reaches millions of women through his beauty and styling products, along with the special technology that Morrison created. After Morrison retired, he joined Shami as his Vice President of Technology at Farouk Systems Incorporated. Now, Morrison's goal is to be able to use this technology in as many different ways as possible. Quote, Alternate uses may not be ambitious for a certain technology, but once you understand the mechanisms of the technology, you can look for spin-off applications. This technology has helped astronauts in space, women style their hair, and even helped cancer patients recover. This technology has created something people use every single day, and it influences the $160 billion industry, so it's safe to say that it is obviously the best spin-off. <laughs>